Okay, we got four boxes here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, three, four. We got a cube box, got a long box, got kind of this box scaled up, and then we got a white box that's kind of hidden. I don't have my normal box cutter. A certain Mr. Zagar borrowed it for the Halloween productions and has not yet returned it. He borrowed it and brought it home? Like if he was here, well, and he's no, like, oh, I need, a knife, I need a knife real quick. When you're doing stuff at home, you use home tools. Ah, oh, well, you know. Look at this bevy of, of packet max. Wait, we don't even know who it's from. Oh, I forgot <laughs> how the show works. From Emily of Rock Hill, South Carolina. Emily Porter Salmon. Salmon, Salmon. There is a small card, S-M-O-L card. <laughs> small. Small, <laughs> small. The Red Cow Content Creation Concern. That's a triple C alliteration. <laughs> Very much appreciated. Look, I can use this as like a knife opener too, yeah. like a letter opener. I can use knives for anything. Oh, it's true. <laughs> ah, Frankie, why? Would you like <laughs> <laughs> Dear EJ, Frankie, Junt, Nina, Zach, and of course, Glow, Rhea. Glow. And she put Rhea in, in parentheses. Okay. Apologies if you can't read my writing. Somebody's been watching unboxings. <laughs> <laughs> Please find enclosed a variety of box macaroni and cheese themed, parentheses on the end, items from the UK. Oh, they're in from the UK. As you guys have already discovered, box mac isn't really a thing here, and anything that uses the word and between the two words is trying super hard to seem American. Ooh. That's really that's fascinating. That's a good tip. Please see the pot noodle. Admittedly, this one claims to be expired, but they're so far removed from food, it probably doesn't apply. <laughs> Just Google them. As for the others, I picked them up mostly in discount stores in different places across the UK. Thanks so much to all of you for the hard work. Diarrhea. <laughs> no, uh, dedic dedication? Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> I get those two confused. <laughs> I'm working on converting everyone in my acquaintance, apart from the boyfriend, capital T, capital B, who remains my. unconvinced but was very impressed with Junt's English accent. Oh. Take care, Emily. Yes, that one from Instagram with the doll. Asterisk, sorry I'm left-handed and use a real pen. What this, this person yeah. is the person. Yeah. He's the person. He's the person. This is the lady. This is the lady. Who uh, uh, takes doll photography, miniature doll photography. Yeah. Do you remember this from the after hours? No. <laughs> it's like a thing, taking a, a pictures of, of a doll yep. in locales. And one of them was her watching a miniature laptop with miniature boxes. Oh, yeah, I do remember now. We did a bachelor's brand, but I'm not sure it was pasta and sauce. <laughs> Mac and cheese. I'm a little hungry right now, so it looks pretty good. Yeah, that. Uh-oh, it's another one of those cheesy ramens. This time with a cute uh, cheese-hatted young lady. Yeah, I, I assume it's a female. It could be just a blushing boy, but you never know. <laughs> this is a pot noodle. It's got a very firm cup. <laughs> Frankie. Pot noodle. <laughs> Why is the term pot noodle so amusing? Well, first of all, it's kind of like box mac. You know, it's... It, <laughs> uh, first, I like the little sound. It's got a real metal top. Put so that right in the mic. Yeah. And feel the rigidity of this container, Frankie. Damn! It's an actual pot. <laughs> a Peppa Pig! Pasta and cheese sauce! It's a small, like, kid-sized portion. The mug shot snack shop! That's hard to say. The mug shop snack shop. Mug shot snack stop. Got Zach, it. give it a try. Mug shot snack stop. All right, it's just me. It's probably gonna be a little herby. And a traditional box here. Cheesy macaroni. McTavish's. McTavish's. Hey, mom, go get me a jelly piece. Some interesting and unusual Macs, and I did not expect it to be from the UK based on the fact that it arrived to us. From Rock Hill, South Carolina. That's what they do sometimes. They uh, they come to the States and ship to us. Ship a box and then fly back home. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Frankie. They show up to the USPS. <laughs> yeah. Get back on a plane. <laughs> this is like a real Warner Brothers cartoon. <laughs> All right, so. From f***ing Australia. From f***ing Australia. <laughs> Holy mother of mercy, the postage paid, Frankie. $45.40. Yeah, it's cheaper to get on the plane. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>
from Michael Bukan. 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 Squeetube. He is a he's a big fan. I see him comment all the time. I'm not as deft with this knife as yeah, I am. Yeah, it looks dangerous to me. <laughs> it's like moderately. Hi, Red Cow Team. Should I read it in an English accent? Because I can't do it in Australian accent. Keep it moving. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for producing so much great content. I first found your YouTube channel when a Box Mac episode came up as a YouTube recommendation while I was watching another channel review for Frozen Mac. Ever since, I've been working my way through Box Mac as well as most of the other content that you've produced, and it's kept me entertained for countless hours in the last few months. Enclosed is an assortment of odd Australian Macs that I've picked up over recent week. We plus an interesting item that you might get some use out of. Has no. Has no. Has no. Has no. Gluten-free macaroni and cheese, pasta, and sauce. We're gonna have to have like a sachet festival. A fe yeah. festival of sachets. <laughs> the International Festival of Sachets. The International <laughs> Festival of Sachets. Yes. <laughs> Box Mac 104. I, and you know how I feel about sachets. <laughs> I fucking hate them. <laughs> what I am a huge fan of is these obnoxiously long barcodes that they placed on the back of the- What's going on there? <laughs> it looks like a book got rained on. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got really uppity about the fact that their barcodes weren't scanning and made them really big. I don't care how long it's gotta be. Look, look, put two of them then. I don't care if the whole back of the sachet. Is it, I don't care if the whole thing is It's one barcode. big barcode. Gluten free, you know, the pasta's probably gonna be crap, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, thanks, Squeetube. Wrapped in newspaper, are you not even, it's probably Australian newspaper. Ooh, the heck with the Mac. I'm reading the Community Classifieds adult section. <laughs> Ooh. International massage, full body massage, $100. Who wants a body massage? Mr. Body Massage Machine, go! Uh, what the hell? Body Massage. We've got another no has gluten free carbonara flavored pasta and sauce. Do you like a carbonara? <laughs> You like a carbonara? You like it a carbonara? Uh, um, carbonara is a type of sauce. Okay. It's cheese oh, based, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it has peas and bacon as well. Uh, it's Coles! Cheese flavored rice! 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 Never done a rice on Box Mac, have we? Wait, we've been joking about box rice for a very long time. Very long time. I love the, the brilliant colors. And look at this uh, vegetable medley that they've got going on here. Wow. Wow. A he very heavy pack. I'm a yeah. little concerned. He sent us a brick. It's diarrhea cheddar. No, it's Dairy Lee cheddar. I've never seen this product in my life. It's made with natural cheese. And turned into unnatural cheese. Frankie, it probably is. Similar to a Velveeta. Uh-oh. Heinz canned Mac. We didn't have a Heinz canned Mac, have we? Maybe in Australia they found some new process where it doesn't taste like beef stew. I don't think we've ever had a Heinz product on the show other than maybe the ketchup that we didn't want to put in the Mac. You're right. <laughs> I think maybe we should pause it there. Come back and there's a couple I, of- I think boxes. so, I think. See you next time on Unboxing. Who wants a body massage? Uh, what did he just say to us? Mr. Bottom Massage Machine, go. Uh, what the hell? Bottom Massage.